Okay folks, this is going to be part one of two for the holes project. Uh, I will do the model in this video and I'll do the sheet drawing in the second video of the IDW. So this is standard IPT of course, that's where we always start. I'm going to go home, I'm going to pick my plane, and I'm going to draw on the front plane for this one. The object here is very simple, it's kind of an L laying on its side. And I'm going to force this line horizontal because I didn't draw it right. Overall length is 12 inches. This thing is huge, but it needs to be for what we're going to do with it. This is 3, this is 9, and then this is 1.5. Finish the sketch, extrude, and the width is 2. Now once I have the block, I'm going to just going to use the hole command. Okay, So I'm going to click on hole and I'm going to click, I'm going to move this thing out of my way. Make sure your placement is on linear. I'm going to click the top face because that's where I want it to go. And the first hole is a metric threaded hole. So I'm going to pick threaded. Thread type is going to be isometric, isometric profile. The size is 10. Uh, the designation is 10 times 0.75. Class is correct. And this thing goes all the way through and the threads go the full depth, so I'm going to click that button. Then I'm going to notice that reference 1 is now highlighted. I'm going to click this line and I'm going to put in 1. Notice I don't press enter. I'm going to click this line and I'm going to put in 1 because they're all 1 inch away and 1 inch apart. I'm going to tell it apply. And now you can see it created that hole. So now I'm going to do the second hole, which is just a regular hole and it has a diameter of 0.5 and termination I need to change to distance because it actually doesn't go all the way through it's only 0.75 deep make sure it has a pointed drill point on this one because that's what it looks like in my example click on reference 1 click the line put in 2 click this line put in 1 That one didn't pick it up. There we go. Tell it apply. Okay. So, and then we're going to do the next one. And the next one has a diameter of 0.875. It goes, whoops, that's the depth. That should be 1.5. The diameter is 0.875. And it has a flat drill point. So we're going to do our reference points again. There's, that should be three, whoops. And if that happens and you accidentally hit enter, just right click on the hole that you were working on and go to edit feature. So three inches, and now this guy is going to be one inch. And we'll just double check that one. Edit feature. Yep, see he's right. So now we'll do the next one. Hole. And this one is a counter bore. So this is the symbol for counter bore. And notice it gives you more options over here. The diameter of the smaller circle is 0.25. And the depth of the smaller circle is 0.75. The diameter of the counter bore is 0.5. Oops, diameter of the counter bore goes up here. And then the depth of the counter bore is 0.25. Okay, and this guy also has a flat drill point. We're going to put in our reference points. So that should be 4. 
and then this guy should be one and apply and there's your counter bore and now the next one is a counter sink so this bottom one is a counter sink and we're gonna do 0.5 for the smaller circles diameter and that one goes down 1.25 the diameter of the countersink itself is 0.875 and the degrees are 60. Okay, so now we're back at reference 1 and that should be 5. Remember, they're all an inch apart. Okay, so the next one is just a threaded hole straight drill, threaded hole, and it goes all the way through, so I'm going to put that at through all, and full depth for the threads, because the threads go all the way through. And so the size is one half, the designation is half 20 UNF, and it is a 1B class. Okay, so we're just going to click right there. And this one should be 6. It should be 1 inch away over here. And we're going to apply. And remember, when you're talking threads, uh, standard thread is right hand turn, left hand turn is a reverse thread. Those are very, very rare. So the next one is also going to be a tapped hole, but it the threads don't go the full depth, and neither does the hole. So we're going to change that. Um, the diameter is 3 eighths, which is 0.375. And 3 eighths UNC, it's a 1B class. So... What we look for here is the depth of the entire hole is 1.5 and the depth of the thread is 0.75. Okay. And now the next one is a counter bore. By the way, this thing here is spot face. Don't use that. Um, nobody uses spot face anymore. We're going to use counter bore. Counter bore. Spot face is like when you're putting a washer on something instead of a bolt, but none of these are spot faces. So now I'm going to set my threads to half an inch diameter and it's UNS it's a class 2B the threads go down there's the depth of the thread those go down 0.75 the counter bore is 0.875 with the depth of 0.25 and the depth of the entire hole is one and a half, which it already is. So we're going to click reference one. And this guy has a pointed drill. And we're going to apply. And I just realized the one in front of it has a pointed drill. So I'm going to go to hole seven. Close that. I'm going to go to hole 7, edit feature, and we're just going to change that to a pointed drill. Tell it OK. So now we're going to do another hole over here. And this one is just a straight drilled hole, it doesn't have any threads. And the diameter is 0.625, which is 5 eighths. 
and the depth is 2.5 and it's got a pointy drill and that should be 9 that should be 1 Okay, and see he kind of cuts through half there. And now the tenth hole is a countersink with threads. So the way you read this, this one's metric, so we're going to change this to isometric profile. We're going to change this to 12. Oh, and I keep zooming. And this is 12 times 0.125. 6H is the class, and the countersink is 0.8 for the diameter, 60 degrees on the angle, and this guy goes all the way through. So we're going to tell the threads go all the way through. Two, so we're going to do full depth on the threads, and termination is through all. I'm going to come over here. Oh, termination through all, not two. It's like, why was it looking like that? Okay, so this is going to be 10. That's going to be 1. Okay. And now we're going to do our last hole. which is a counter bore and it is ANSI unified and that's going to be one half, one quarter which is 0 0.25 120 UNC class is 1B the counter bore's head is 1 and the depth is 0.25. We're going to click on reference. We're going to make that 11 and that's going to be 1 and we are going to do OK. And there is your block full of holes. Okay, so now you're going to put a color on it and save it. And I'll pick this up in part two. Make sure you save it though. Save it to your practice folder on your desktop.